Welcome to another episode of Rough Talk VR, a weekly podcast with in-depth game reviews, exclusive developer interviews, and the latest MetaQuest and virtual reality news. We join our hosts, the father-son team of D. Scruffles and Stratus today, as they spend another episode breaking down and discussing the world of virtual reality. Hey, welcome to this episode of Rough Talk VR. It's Monday, so that means we're coming at you with another edition of VR News with a whole agenda of... <laughs> so out of schedule well actually last week we did tuesday we've done tuesday a couple times this year just because of travel and life circumstances but it's monday regular programming this week with a whole slew of things to talk about we both have quite the sheet going there so i'll kick it off and say this one's really cool the meta quest 3s is currently the top rate product in the video games category on amazon unsurprisingly cool Mm -hmm. i mean yeah because when we were looking at it i'm like it it's wicked cool but it's not shocking (laughs) like that's kind of what you were expecting yeah 299 for a vr headset good headset good price it's like very very little negative to say about it Mm -hmm. we gave our review of the 3s last week i gave it a thumbs up man for 299 for two i like it i still use my three primarily as it's well the best version of them but the 3S is a phenomenal headset for 299 Well, and at this stage, too, if you look at it like multiple 3s, a 3S, a 2, mm-hmm. each with its own head strap that you like. But each one of mine has like a different accessory. accessory at this point, yeah. So, yes, I have the in-house 3 that I, I like, and I now have the 3S set for travel like. I won't say what yet, but we might have gotten some accessories in the mail that we might be talking about mm-hmm. soon. I think we'll probably next week. They look nice. They look nice. Our headsets are about to get even more decked <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, man. I'm trying, trying to decide. I'm like, uh-oh. But on two, for two ninety nine, the Quest 3S is currently the top yeah, that was selling video games product on Amazon. That's that's cool. Great, unshocking news. And to me, I don't think that, like, I'm, I'm not expecting that the wave of 3S sales is yet. That's Christmas time to me. Well, and I think there's also some being bought, people probably thinking, hey, this price is going to change. Or maybe it'll sell out by Christmas. Let me grab it now. Yeah. Who knows what their supply looks like. So, yeah, if I buy it now and wrap it and put it away, you know, again, mm-hmm. like you said, Christmas morning, the holidays. And yeah. that means that we won't, if people are buying them for Christmas now or in a month, that means that you won't see those game app sales either until at least Christmas, because that's when those kids are opening them up. Yeah. And the, the kind of gut kick is the quest plus that you're getting with each headset that comes let alone walkabout. that it's coming with batman you know so yeah you get batman walkabout <laughs> red map which granted the quest Dude. plus subscription is a uh, limited time that they give you for free still but three you get months to, is yeah three months you get right? to use it and like dude walkabout is an insane game to have on day one and look at the amount of free games there are these mm-hmm. days like it might take about a month or so before we really see that like yeah, big w- kick in of, of game sales. Or you could argue 90 days. Yeah, a couple months because people are going to have to get through Batman. It's a handful of games on there, dude. You're going to, you know, mm-hmm. you really get into them. It's going to be. And if you're a kid and you go in and you yeesh. see Horizon Worlds everywhere, you're probably going to click on it, right? The way they push those worlds you're gonna click on everything so <laughs> i'm not even if you're a kid if you're an adult i mean i i ended up in rec room for a reason yeah we went to know? rec room our first like two weeks playing together we kept trying different worlds in there and then we we're like nah there's remember how limited the store was though oh dude it's crazy you get think excited about. as as hell for anything coming out. and then you'd see like oh my god this is multiplayer that's the only reason we went into rec room mm-hmm like, hey, it's multiplayer. And it was free, you know. We were and just we did find hands. one good. We There was one app we uh, really enjoyed. It's Crimson enjoyed. something. I've talked about it a couple times. It's still yeah. not bad, you know, but like would I go in there and play with shit, the public? But whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've come so far. Now we have so many great releases each week. We finally checked out Into Black. Had a great time with that so far. Definitely going to keep going into it. Yeah, that one's got my attention. It's like Dungeons of Eternity meets, you know. I don't like the comparison, to be honest with you. I, I don't see it. it. I, I use oh I see it because of the oh. grabbing from the chest for your loot and then fabricating them, creating them as your loadout items. To me, that's like the same thing that gets me hooked in Dungeons of Eternity is those uh, yeah. going I in mean, for I a run the, for for the loot. When I played it, I didn't once feel like it's obviously a different atmospheric game. Like, Dungeons of Eternity. Well, because one's a 
freaking fantasy and, and game. Dungeons and, of Eternity has like chests of various sizes, degrees. This was more like just chests or chests. Box, wait, crates. Yeah, loot boxes. It's just a different, but it was that same that same loop was getting. No, no, I, I get it, I get it. But I, I can see why that's not the first thing that comes to mind either because no. of just game sure. atmosphere and stuff like that. But and the gameplay, like you know, gameplay is super fun. Yeah, like I said, it's got my attention. I'm a loot but, whore but, in that. <laughs> but we have to be, dude. It's like so. That's how we are, and in we the haven't most even games. we haven't even started, dude. This is mm-hmm. like the tip of the iceberg with it. That's yeah. what scares me with it is the when we played it the first time, I was like, I already know we have to go in real deep in this game. This isn't like a, oh, let's play it for an hour. And no, if you really want to enjoy it, you're gonna be. I got because I still have a lot of questions. Mm-hmm. Dude, I'm I'm liking it so far though. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm glad you brought that one up. Yeah. That's a good one. I knew right off the top it was gonna be. A yeah, big you've game. been, <laughs> dude. You've been so excited for this one to, to to come out and everything, and to finally have it just made it more exciting. But like, mm-hmm. I, I was like, I don't know why you're so excited for this. But then we played it, and I was like, okay, they make like, you do like a I little said. tutorial without co-op, like yeah, one nothing, mission, nothing bad at all. Though. No, very basic, and then right from there. You can go to co-op for yeah. the rest of the game, which is what we're doing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's but really, again, I I still have questions. Yeah, definitely got to keep playing it. Obviously, we're not doing a full review on it or anything, but initial impressions of Into Black—that's going to be a candidate for one of the best VR co-op games this year, in my opinion. Great job to really think so. Oh yeah, I think that this one's going to suck us in, like you said, deep. <laughs> it's going to get us deep. I'm already imagining right. our Discord community running a little wild with "Suck Us In." They were having fun. Did you see them memeing on me the other day? Yeah, with the pancake. With the pancake, and then they put me on the hide and... Uh, yeah, hide the corpse. Hide the corpse As cover the art. pancake. Yeah, that was messed up, man. Too funny. Love our community. That's why I'm scared to do anything weird on video, because I'm like, I already know. Well, what's your one? My head bobbing one? That one's still yeah. one of my favorites. <laughs> so shout out to our Discord community. We'll obviously do our proper Patreon shout out later yeah. and, and no, such, that- but... I was laughing because I, I when it, it popped up, I was like, "Oh shit!" The pancake suit from when you mm-hmm. <laughs> you came out looking like a pancake because we were excited about the pancake lenses. I'm glad it was a memorable one for the community in that sense. Real quick, like, mm-hmm. but pancake the hide, boy hide the corpse. That was that was a good touch, dude. That was fun. To whom whom did that? Props. <laughs> oh, I can't remember. All right, man. Tis next one is good news. You can get now, available for purchase, the Underdogs soundtrack. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Which, no lie, the first time we played Underdogs, I was like, I want this music. It's really not bad. It's Mm -hmm. perfect. And they're playing it in the background, and it's still enjoyable. Well, and I almost want a soundtrack featuring just some dialogue of them, mm. like a dialogue soundtrack. As crazy as it sounds, no, but that, where where that would be good would be like a ringtone. Mm-hmm. Wake up, man! <laughs> Answer your phone, brata man! <laughs> Answer your phone, you fuck you! Because it's gotta oh, be man. vulgar. That's I not love me their. Being a dick. I love their game universe. It's expandable, mm-hmm. so and that's a- what I I like is like. And that's just a little piece of such a what's good going game. On. So yeah, dude, underdogs continuing the still feel like it floats a little under the radar for how good of a game it is. But the soundtrack just it made total sense. Because mm-hmm. it's good music. It's not bad. No, dude, I I yeah, I, I love think the I'm game. Have, I, I think love I'm gonna the have team. to pick that up. I love the voice actor. I, I love the, the I soundtrack. The... Everything's it's like really it's one of my favorite overall games i like supporting when the soundtracks came out i bought the vinyl for thrasher thrasher as well really so, yeah but downstairs uh-huh. i'll go oh i might even grab it during the patreon break i'll show Damn. it on. yeah i got the vinyl Jelly. of of that so yeah I, I, I expect you to die where's your vinyls at Ooh, digital soundtrack so no vinyl here but maybe Ooh. one you just want a vinyl maybe one day they'll do a vinyl Dude, a vinyl underdog soundtrack get the frick out mm-hmm. i want them to do uh, not that i'm upset i mean it's not that expensive either. I imagine what uh, the their digital soundtrack. Yeah. No. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's seven ninety nine full price, but right now at the time I'm looking at it, it's fifteen yeah, percent off. A little discount. Six seventy nine total on Steam. So that's cool stuff. Huge props to 
Yeah, the they they there. should um they should nail the vinyl though. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know how expensive vinyl pressing is and stuff. I saw Shell tease once it's that more they've popular. That they've done vinyls of I Expect You to Die for like trade shows before, like you know, PAXs and yeah. stuff like that. I'm like, sell that shit. I, I will know. buy that no, two I, I'll buy it yesterday. You know, it's like I I want I expect you. I have no vinyl from any studio. Well, I only have one. I mean, walkabout could vinyl every one of their I courses. have one. I bought that right when I saw that they yeah. put it out. I they put it out for pre order and I pre ordered it and then like I How forgot about it. it. It's like twenty bucks, something okay. like that. Like Thirty 19. bucks. I can I can actually look that up right now as we continue to go. I'll 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 get it while you bring up your next news point, but I'll go to mine uh now. This is cool. Moss and Moss Book Two. Both of them. Both games in the Moss series have Very received popular games in the Oh yeah, what's your quest ecosystem there? I think, you know, those type of games as we see with Escaping Wonderland. The I I Dude, love those type get of me games. Started on that game. Yeah, we'll do a full dedicated Jeez Louise. to that soon. But Moss One and Moss Book Two both received visual updates for the Quest Three and the Quest Three S. The the Quest Three family. Yeah, that's that's huge. Mm -hmm. I I love seeing that. It's funny to see that like there's this distinction coming of the Quest Three and the Quest Three S on stuff. I've even seen when games come out, people are like, "You should label that it's for the Three S too as well." But like, no. Because the idea is a 3S is a 3, right? So if it's something for the 3, it's also for the 3S is the idea, right? There's There's been some new games that have come out, and I'm like, instantly when I play it, I'm like, oh, I can't wait for them to update this for the 3. Because mm -hmm. I know it's not taking full advantage of it. We're now, but I get it. You, you started your shit two years ago. Three years ago, even, in know? some cases, where the Quest 2 was... So Some people be, started dude, the game when a Quest 1 was... Think about a thing. year and a half from now. Mm -hmm. Like, the shit that's coming out, like, really will be maximizing yes. from start to finish. Three only. Mm -hmm. Two is out the window. Games that started development Holy with crap. being Quest 3 exclusive <clears throat> in mind. In 3S exclusive, even though it's the same. Quest 3 exclusive from day one is going to be a game changer on quality. I think they should have called it the S3. I still like... I know they say that that's not the idea that they wanted because it's not a light, but I like just for understanding purposes the name Three Light. Three Light. Mm -hmm. Because I've know. I've seen some confusion online of people thinking the Three S is a newer, better, better than the Three. I mean, do the math. You look at them price wise. You go, why would they ever be? I, you know, I don't know. But the I S, agree. the S three. If the S really meant nothing. Other than just a letter, use your imagination, it's whatever you want. I think it'd be easier to name it something if the S was first. I, I think we could all pick a favorite. The Super 3. Favorite of it besides <laughs> what it went with. But the fact of the matter, it's 3 with a capital S. Emphasis mm -hmm. on that capital S. And it's uh, for super duper. Yeah. <laughs> super duper price. So yeah, cool stuff from uh, Polyarch, you know, putting out updates for Moss 1 and 2, which are still very popular games to this day. So cool stuff. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. So, on the cool news, Maestro is out in the wild. <laughs> Dude, we've been following Maestro for years. Mm -hmm. Years. You told me what, you did like five songs? Five songs. Yesterday? I, I just went in hard. I've been waiting forever for this. I mean, So much so that I've played the demo many times from start to finish. Just for the little... That one song. Little nibble of... Mm -hmm of music that you get which they kept that initial demo in this full as, release as the tutorial but they do give you a skip option on it yeah. as well but just put your hand on the bell and skip it for me it's been so long since i went in i was like i think it's good for me to go through this again Dude, just to be fantastic. sure fantastic yeah they really crushed it I, and i might be a little biased because i have been like emotionally attached to their development <laughs> as an outsider looking in but now that it's out and it's in my hands and it's like, this is friggin' awesome. I don't even know how many total, total songs you get and shit yet. I just jumped right in like, fuck this. What's crazy is in 2024, we are getting two of the most, I mean, I'm two of the best rhythm games in VR are coming out this year with mm -hmm. Maestro just launching and Trombone just, Champ. Yeah. And Flatten coming out. I've, I got to try it in Germany. At um, like, Gamescom. At Gamescom. 
I had a really good time to the point where I spent a good portion of my day when I was ever around their booth. Mm-hmm. I, eyeballing, <laughs> the, eyeballing the scores people got on certain songs just to know that I did better. So what it, I just can't help myself, dude. So rhythm game of the year, man, that's going to be a tough category this year, but rhythm game fans are in for some treats between Maestro and Trombone Champ. I mean, if unflattened. It's not in the wild yet. So, I mean, if they come out in 24, yeah, it's going to be hard to, it's going to be a, a fun, a fun category for the, the awards, mm-hmm. like a hundred percent. Cause there's a handful of other, other rhythm games that came out as well. So we're already talking awards off air moogly. too. We are like, man, some of these categories are going to be tough. Like single yeah. player game of the year, which is good. I'd rather have game a, of the year this year. Oh my I'd, goodness. I'd actually rather have a debatable category where someone might disagree than Think of like year one where we did it, where you you can't really. The story argue was so much it. lighter. Yeah, it's like, well, yeah, man, that makes total sense. Man. Where now it's like, no more app lab categories. We used to have an app lab game. Yeah, no, I, I thought of that when they were just talking about ditching it, and I'm like, this is gonna, this all just wiped out an entire. I love that our app, app lab, lab graduate. Mm-hmm. You know, of the year, App, App Lab, Lab Multi- Studio yeah. of the year, App Lab Game of the Year. I don't That's think we ever gone. did App Lab Studio of the Year, but I know no. what you mean. All the App yeah. Lab categories are now nerfed. Yeah, maybe we, a, we were going to do it. We had a hundred percent success rate too with all with our Game of the Year App Labs going to the official store. Uh, in the total amount of them, yeah, and mm-hmm. it was a lot. If you look back on, if you honestly look back on all the, the App, App Lab, Lab games, games that we focused that we, on, yep, that we were like. A hundred percent store worthy bubble. Mm-hmm. Every one of them did well at the store. I'm still so impressed. That's a great tracker. Dude. Mm-hmm. I'm still so impressed it. with Trask Games, the developers of Gods of Gravity, <laughs> for what they've done with Eeps. It's insane the following that game has. I'm just blown away at how tall he, he was. Jack? When we met him in person. Mm-hmm. Wasn't expecting that for some reason. Mm-hmm. I mean, you only see someone on video, right? Mm-hmm. So you don't know. Could be I could be four feet tall. And I'm not, you know, I'm like six feet when I wake up in the morning. That was funny too. For a second, I was like, all right, it's on to you for the the next news piece. I was like, oh shit, no, he let in with Maestro. Yeah, Yeah, Maestro. But no, back, I mean, Maestro, hands down, loving it so far. Um, I honestly can't get enough. And I I guess we could talk about it deeper in another week or two because I'll be spending some time in there. Important to say too that Maestro is currently twenty four ninety nine full price on the MetaQuest store with check this already a four point nine rating. Yeah, dude. And having just came out is already at hundred forty seven reviews. That's, Which this is a new store page from their demo one too. And there's a lot of um, people who played the demo, mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm not shocked that they're coming out of the gate with a four nine. What's I mean, the things that make it important are the the hand tracking. Zero percent one star reviews, and if the hand tracking doesn't work, you're screwed mm-hmm. because it's your there's no controller with this game. It's a hand tracking game. I wonder. It would be cool if they did make it work with the Logitech pen. That would be cool. Yeah, I would. I don't think it's tied. No, at this it's point. it's it's hand tracking only. I'm sure. But it'd be it probably sense. so much work to add in. I mean, you can hold like chopsticks. They actually recommend, at yeah. least back in the demo, <clears throat> recommended holding something well yeah it makes it easy. and but you do have to use two hands because mm-hmm. your right hand's going to basically always do the the back and forth with the wands and your left hand's going to do the raise the section lower the section point to the section so they know their parts coming but thus thus far like the timing of everything is like spot on the controls in my hands are working because i can't blame a controller mm-hmm. <laughs> you know so that's cool stuff yeah I'm I'm crushing it. Mm-hmm. Love Maestro, man. So glad to see it's officially out. And like I said, it's going to yeah. be a tough end of the year in terms I'm of I'm almost debate. sad in a way because I've been waiting so long for it. Mm-hmm. Now it's here. So this is a cool one. Blade and Sorcery. Mm-hmm. They're teasing today, actually, is when the YouTube live of it comes out. But they're teasing a launch date announcement for Blade and Sorcery Nomads full release, which means it comes with the Crystal Hunt Game mode, which is their story mode. Okay. I've been waiting. Mm-hmm. I remember our big Been complaint. waiting a while. Yeah. It's I'm, been a few years. I remember, I mean, we had a little sadistic fun with Blade and Sorcery 
when it came out. Oh, you're not. Got a little carried away at some time. Some of the videos you sent me were hilarious. Well, I said it, it's going to bring the best of the worst of you. Mm-hmm. Full, you, I don't <laughs> care who you are. Full butcher style. But it's a, it was a sandbox game that yeah. was really carried a lot, too, by the modding community. It was a novelty to me. Uh, well, you know, sandbox only games to me at some point, you know, you hit your limitation with them. There's, mm-hmm. you know, that's why the modding community was so big for the game. But the crystal hunt mode is a full single player game mode, story mode, basically with missions and skill trees. So you can still be a sadist. You just do mm-hmm. it with missions. And now you have classes. No, I, it was you know? something I complained about. I think when we talked about it. Now it's a freaking game. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now it's now it's a full game. Well, we know they got the mechanics down, mm-hmm. right? Because certainly I wouldn't be able to make pin up body parts <laughs> if they didn't, dude. What a what a terrible, holy crap! Mm-hmm. I remember the first time I did shit, and I was like, "You some, can do this." Some of the funniest Reddit posts I've ever seen involved oh that game of for weeks, mm-hmm. weeks. I love the Star Wars mods for the games. <laughs> Come on, man. Holy shit! That what was you hysterical. want the most is co-op in it. Yeah, you were actually hoping that this came that came in this yeah. release. You were like co- co-op, right? I was like, no. And it's funny because I already knew it wasn't. Mm-hmm. But then I even asked you today, I'm like co-op, right? I'm like no, you're like, no, dude. I'm so sorry. I'm like, Come on, man. Why not? There is nothing that would draw my interest quicker, even in sandbox mode, like. No, not sandbox mode. No, I, I think missions. we can have fun, fun, in sandbox in co-op, but yeah. it does still have its limitation. Yeah. Missions co-op That's is right, the best because you can't do, you can't do missions and whatever. All right, this one's really cool, cool studio, cool game, but believe it or not, and I I choose to believe it, Max Mustard is selling better on PSVR two. Than it is on Quest. No, that's not exactly what they said. Okay. They said it's doing better. It's selling faster. Yes, they said yes. in the it's same selling... time. Yes. So they just launched on PSVR. So who knows too. what that means financially? But... Yeah, what they what they're saying is example, Max Mustard came out, let's say a week ago. In that first week of sales, they said the sales are better in the first week on PSVR two than the you know, they were for that same amount of time. On quest. That quest two, I'm just saying one week two. I'm I'll double check how long the actual time was, but I think that that's also partial. Like when they came out on the quest, they're a new game that people like, you know, have to hear is good and stuff like that. Everybody's already heard Max Mustard is a great game, so they're going on to the the PSVR two already with like that rep that positive reputation that they didn't have at that time, you know, on the quest. Right. Uh- I also think it's another example of just how bad they need good games on PSVR 2. That's two so, weeks in a row we're talking about a game coming out on the PSVR 2. Yeah. And the the consumers turning up and buying it. it. Yeah. I mean, Into the Radius 2 hit number one on the, the store for selling. And then Max Mustard is selling better in that same initial period of time on the PSVR 2 than it is on the Quest. Come on. I also think it's because so many PSVR 2 users wanted Astrobot in VR. Mm-hmm. And Astrobot only came out flat screen. PS5, it, so it's like, you know, well, you don't got Astrobot, but we do got Max Mustard, baby. And the consumers jumped on that. So I wonder how good Toast Interactive has done on Max Mustard because they hit number one on the store with their 90% off sale. Well, they They're also, the OGs of it. They also took it on the chin with sales for mm-hmm. every one they sold because they sold it for... A dollar for a couple days, you know, that was already after it was already out and stuff like that. Yeah, but it made them number one, man. Mm-hmm. And then the price went back up to normal while they were still at the top of the charts, which you know they had to still gotten sales. So, nonetheless, no, huge. I, I, I think, dude, as a whole, I think they're they're crushing it. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a fun game. How can you really shit on it, right? It's so it's, cute. It's got a little bit of nostalgic feel mm-hmm. with it's, the modern day VR headset. Reward systems of collecting gems, you know, I mean, come on, man. Yeah, actually has a point to collecting the coins and stuff, which was Mm -hmm. missing from so many of those games because you get to go into the store and spend them and everything like that. So, no, huge props to Toast Interactive. Two for two with game releases doing good. 
between Richie's Plank and then Max Mustard. So this will be my last one before Patreon. I think that, but I think you got one more before we officially give our Patreon shout out. You know, the peeps we appreciate. The peeps. The peeps. The peeps. The peeps. The fam. The fam. The VR fam. Yeah, actually, everyone who listens is family. Yeah, no, I appreciate all the, all the listeners. Ex, you know, love our Discord community. Like I said, when they were memeing on me, it was freaking hilarious. <laughs> Gotta be I, careful. I love that at any point, if I just What's want, funny is you didn't even do anything to be <laughs> memed. You didn't do nothing, I don't think. I love that if any point I want just good <laughs> vibes, you know, I can just pop in the Discord and yeah. have a discussion. It's such a great community, so... I you, read everything I post. Not as, you know, if I posted as much as I'm in there, it would be stupid. But as I always say, huge props to all of the listeners. Huge thank you to all the listeners. All everyone that partakes in our Discord are awesome mods. Amelia, King Canuck, Shoes, they all crush it. Like I said, our Discord is just a cool place to be. And you can join that by visiting the link in our show notes as well, too. Just no saying. Way. No way. So this one, <laughs> last one for me before Patreon, like I said. A little sad news, but I understand why it's happening. Dig VR is now delayed because of Batman <laughs> Batman Arkham Shadow coming out this month. So best Dig, financial move ever. Yeah, Dig VR said, <laughs> you know what? We're gonna launch November fourteenth instead, you know, and Dude, that's perfect. They were gonna launch on the same day as Batman and they did yeah. a freaking hilarious post about it. They oh, did, their video? And they did a hilarious video too. The but video they, was was amazing. They also did a funny text post as well too, like yeah. a, with like a graphic with text as well. But their video was great too. And then crushed it. The head of whoever uh, made that, no joke. Yeah, they did a good job. If they it's the like if we're gonna in a bad symbol, dude. If we're on, gonna man. delay it, let's at least do it in a funny way. And then the head of Camouflage Studios, he he came out and he was like, "Oh man, I was here. I was hoping that we could take over the store." With, you know, a Batman, Dig VR, mm. co-takeover, something like that. It was pretty funny. So good vibes all around with it. I think it's the best decision for everyone. Well, yeah, dude. I mean, we've been saying for weeks, it's like when we do the what what date games are coming out and we knew we were getting to the October list. I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm starting to get scared for certain people. I mean, it was originally set to come out October 24th, so... It's not like they delayed <clears throat> the day before it came out or anything. No, 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 a week no, before, no. you know... No, no, no. They were like, hey. So here's the thing then. Because they have they were prepared to come out this week, right? Do you think they'll just do more shit to the game? Because now they've got like another month to fuck around. Maybe. Like, is the temptation too strong to ignore? And they actually weren't going to come out the same day <laughs> as Batman. They were going to come out two days later. But like, that's still too close. Dude, of uh no. Which, by the way. It's a great, great freaking move. Batman is coming out this this week. <laughs> It's coming out the twenty second. So it's coming out tomorrow mm -hmm. after this episode drops. Tomorrow, Can't Tuesday. Can't wait. October twenty second. That's going to be huge. Huge. I think I think because of the cool relationship between Batman and Dig VR, they should allow for a kind of Batman themed digger. Mm -hmm. I hope I hope that this planted the seeds <laughs> just I hope, for just for as a really cool vibe. You know? I hope behind the scenes there's some talks going on. Like That's a, fingers they crossed. Don't, I mean, they don't have to put a digger in freaking Batman. No, just put a Batman digger in Dig VR. In Dig VR, because then I think why that, not? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah I'm like, with you. I hope kind of like an Easter egg homage to like why it would even be there. I hope to see it. But no, good for Ben and his team and making the right choice. And obviously. His background in itself, he, you know, good for him. And cool that Meta was obviously cooperative mm -hmm. and understanding to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, well, let's not do that. Just add water. The devs are basically like, this date of Batman didn't exist when we first set our date. Yeah, so, like, you know, man. hey, and all parties agreed it was in the best interest. No lie, I'm pretty sure your logo is going to be there in the load up screen. So you might have some juice to maybe help me out. They certainly weren't going to move Batman's date. No. Wouldn't that have been some shit? No, no okay, way. Okay, we're pushing Batman two weeks. <laughs> for Dig, Dig v VR. For Dig VR. That would have been, you know. No, no way. I, I, well, no, dude, I get it. That's like a train coming down the road, and there you are in your pickup truck. You know, you're going to get off the tracks. Let the train pass. So, good move. Congratulations. Not upset about it. So, me next? Okay. 
Uh, Breachers is going to start season two of their competitive mode this week. So with that, they're going to do some new throwing mechanics, a new repelling network, which has me excited because it's always. I haven't a good been feature. in Breachers in quite a bit. No, but this has my interest. An auto pickup for the EMP, and more to come. So we, so, need, I think we just need to get a solid Breachers crew. Together. Yeah, but my problem is, is like it has so much of that Counter Strike vibe with me that like if I'm gonna fucking play it, I want to be good at it. And like you said, you need a solid team to play with, and the only way you're gonna get good at it is to play it a shit ton. And then to do that means I'm not gonna be able to play other stuff because mm -hmm. I'm gonna be playing Breachers all the freaking time. <laughs> And then there's going to be like, well, hey, the whole point of being good at it is to be good at it, so we need to enter tournaments. And then that's going to turn into a whole thing where now you got to practice religiously like two hours a day just running strategies. <laughs> I just, I don't have the time. And I love Breachers. So I go in there and get smacked around just for the enjoyment of playing it. But I totally don't have the time in my life mm. to be able to, because I already know. It's going to be like, dude, if you're good at it, right, why would you not keep playing it? It's so fun, too. If you have a, a good crew of five oh, with you, it's so freaking good. Dude, it's a great game. Yeah. Too good too good for me to invest all my time in. But that's me personally. But that tells you how like serious. You know. One of the best shooters in VR, I think. Mm -hmm. For competitive. For like five, team team five based shooters. Five? Yeah. Yeah, no, hands down. Hands down. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Ghost of Tabor still my number one shooter. But that's not the, that's not a five v five for team based like shooters. Yeah, five v fives. It's unquestionably breachers. Yeah, there's no competition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Who's your real competition? So, as always, too, like I was saying before, huge shout out to our Patreon members. I know we pretty much already did a shout out to our Discord and such. Like I said, you can find the link for that in our show notes. You can also find the link for our Patreon there as well but huge shout out to our patreon members on our on air shout out tier we have a sim amelia carson earth witness aspire mike jake crispy and shoes thank you all for your continued support like i said you can find the link for that in our show notes same with our discord popping great community as always too you can yeah uh, you can subscribe to us on youtube comment smash the like button Rate us five stars on whatever audio platform you listen on. All that fun stuff. All that stuff means a bunch. Like I said, I, th I think I said this the other week. You, there's comments on Spotify these oh, days yeah. as well, too. So you can always drop a comment there. The YouTube algorithm loves those comments as well, too. If you want I have to drop not searched. Do we have comments? On Spotify? I haven't. I, I need to check. I don't think anybody's commented. Too. Man, I don't think so. But, you know, the YouTube algorithm, they love those comments. So you want to drop a comment, too. Boom. That would be, you know, always appreciated. Just saying. So this one's cool. Behemoth from Skydance. Behemoth! <laughs> Some people tried it at Gamescom. We didn't get a chance, but I have heard really good things so far. They provided a, you know, first look at standalone gameplay on the Quest 3. So not just PC mm. VR, not just PlayStation VR. How does it look on standalone VR? Meaning, how is it going to look through my eyeballs? Which I appreciate. This is exactly what Vertigo did with Metro mm -hmm. the other week. They just said, "Here's some gameplay footage," and dude, I think I think Behemoth is going to be a top seller. Like I think that one's going to be a hit. I didn't get to play it yet, but it just looks so freaking good. I mean, from everything I've heard, mm -hmm. you know, both documented and undocumented, it's all the same shit. And look, Metro Awakening when Vertigo did it, they did a little bit more gangster. They did several minutes. Of gameplay, Skydance they just put out like a minute mm -hmm. about, but still, it doesn't it's, matter. It's cool. I, I just I'm me personally, I'm excited mm -hmm. for it. So I mean that in itself. So we'll see. But you know how we feel when you know there's a trailer and there's no gameplay in it. It's just like real people and stuff. I don't know, you're for me, my time. I understand what like like real people in trailers. I think statistic like is good for sales. Like the, I, I'm sure there has to be a reason why so many games do it but because it looks cool for me what <laughs> sells me a game is gameplay footage well that's the you're thing. actually better off just giving me five raw minutes of gameplay in than a, uh, a huge trailer with an you know real people in it and stuff like that no in the meetings people are like 
you know, it'd be really cool. You know what I want? I want, I want to have this explosion on it. People show people in the guns and uh, people just, wearing suits, walking around with machine guns. Just show me like, your game. Where's the game, sir? It's like, mm -hmm. I don't want that. I, this is what I want. It's like production thing. And it's Where at the end of the day, I think the the real gamer would be like, if you showed me the actual footage, mm -hmm. I would be happier with that versus all the production value you put into a Hollywood trailer for a game that doesn't show me footage. I don't want to see a 60 second trailer and there only be five to 10 seconds of gameplay in total. But Dude, that's I've common. seen some, there's none. Yeah. Where my, my absolute favorite, the one where it's just like a logo. Mm hmm. Like nothing, mm -hmm. you piss. Or again, like hugely cinematic things, productions that you know were like a lot of effort to put together, mm -hmm. like CGI style. And it's like, what's going on? There's been a couple yeah. of them that we finish the trailer and we go, so what's the game about? You nice. know, like it's just like, it, what do you do? Like it's it, that those uh, stuff should be answered in the trailer. So this 40, you know, the 46 seconds, whatever that Skydance put out is going to do much more to sell me than like a polished cinematic one minute trailer. But this one's this one's got so much name hype mm -hmm. on it right now. It's not even funny. Yeah. I think it's gonna do good. Dude, the giant that they always tease with it, the behemoth. Scary dude. I wonder if that's just one that you fight. No, you have to fight eight in a row. Eight in a row? At the same time. <laughs> it's like Mike Tyson punch out style. No. I don't know what you, I dude. I just can't wait. The graphics look tight though. I'm I'm real excited for it. It is like gameplay clips, though, so I do just, I want them to just put out 10, you know, here's 10 minutes of the first 10 no, minutes. No, I want, gameplay. I don't want to see any more. I want to experience it now. I get it. It looks mm -hmm. great. The gameplay is going to be great. There's Big some, scary monster, rar. There's some, but I don't want to see it all. I woke up today with some people on Twitter re posting that the Amazon listings for it were showing February mm. 2025 now. That's deep. That's deep. That's, That's real deep. deep. That cuts. Uh, let's see if that happens. I hope that they don't miss Christmas with that. I mean, I know the Christmas sales would come in, you know, a little bit after Christmas with game apps, but February, that might be, you know, when you were originally slated to be pre-Christmas, that might be unfortunate, you know? I'm a little sad face. Just because you're hyped for it? I was hyped for it like two, three months ago. <laughs> Swear I'm to excited, God, I yeah. was like, because it was a little bit of like a, a hype push on it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, huh. I saw some people posting it. I the saw comment? some people posting some not nice things. And then I started seeing people posting real nice things. And then I saw people saying like fantastic things. And I'm like, damn, man. I want it now. Dude, we have Batman coming out. The hell? We have Metro <laughs> coming out. It's, yeah, dude. We have it's, Behemoth it's, coming out. Behemoth is, that's one I would hold the date on your release. Yeah. That Whatever one's gonna be say, a just go the other way because that's gonna be a big one. Uh huh. Maybe they maybe it's they're probably be a big price tag too. I think so. I think this is gonna be a price, and tag I one. think well deserved. But mm -hmm. we'll see. You can tell it's a high production game. It looks like AAA on standalone VR. I mean, a huge props to them with that. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited for that one. Yeah, no, the graphics look good, and we know we're looking at real graphics. Hey, so. Andrew Bosworth, Andrew Bosworth, Meta CTO. The boss. This is like, I don't even like really call this news though. Because mm -hmm. almost anything that he puts in his hand and looks at from their development department. It could be canned tomorrow. It's just a test, right? It's just there. It's like. It's like trying making up dishes in a test kitchen, in a kitchen, you know? But they, For a restaurant, and they, they shared shit. photos of um, a headset tethered. So right off the bat, you're like, yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, uh, showing off their wide, wide field of view prototype. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'm not. And he just posted another one actually today that mm -hmm. I saw. Well, now it won't be today when this episode drops, but I just, ago. I just saw ago. one. I just saw one uh, posted where he was in the dark with one as well, too. Yeah. And he had like an infrared light see. on the side. Well, they didn't say that, but that's me. That's the implication of the photo. It is like say it. it's like, hey, we have a headset that uses infrared to track in the dark. That's Dude, how the I Xbox took it. Connect can see in the dark. Mm -hmm. That you turn that thing on one of the three modes and look at your, you'll see shit in your room you didn't know was there. <laughs> Swear to God, it is the creepiest thing ever. I used to keep it in that mode just to like be freaked out. One time, a developer post. told us that you can use a Connect for. Uh, to like rig motion, it to do motion tracking. Motion tracking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but yet yeah, you can because it 
That thing, you know, there's a couple it devices in like the track mid, your motion in the early 2010s that were like ahead was, of its it, time. It was ahead of its time. Uh, the Wii was as well. Yeah. You know? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A million percent. Think of how good the tracking on the Wii controllers if was. If the Wii hadn't come out, but they were interested in it, I think that would be part of their VR shit. I never had issue like tracking issues on the Wii. It'd be Wii with VR. The contro- with the controllers? Never. It's actually Dude, set up for it, right? That's actually what surprises me that Nintendo doesn't have a standalone VR headset. Again, I know I know that they have their little cardboard one that you can use on a Switch, but it. I mean, they've always done like not novelty but like they've been cutting edge with technology the Wii was a was a gamble of technology they've really pushed the envelope on handheld devices handheld devices with touch screens mm-hmm. they've always kind of like done their own thing so i'm i'm kind of surprised that they they seem just perfect for standalone vr nintendo where you at yeah but when you do a red headset it just looks cheap oh dude imagine <laughs> imagine a like a Mario coloring, so it's red with the white N on it. You know, no, Nintendo? you do it like a mushroom. A mushroom the, headset. The front, the front is the mushroom head, and then the uh, the face is the stem. Mm-hmm. Oh man, see, Nintendo has so much potential to even right. lean in with IP designs on their headset. Do it, Nintendo. Do it. Don't be scared, homie. Don't be scared. Hmm. All right, that's yeah. cool. No, the Wii is. But I get any, what anyways, I get what you mean by it's like not really yeah, news I as well really, too. It's it's it. I only bring it up because it's out there and it's yeah, kind of cool. Like woo. you put out a, a picture <laughs> wearing a, a prototype headset with a wide field that of view. may or may not have anything to do with anything in the future. Mm-hmm. Or it was just a proof of concept for mm-hmm. something because we know that that's pretty much all that headset's going to do. Mm-hmm. Small um, field of views have sometimes been a criticism of the Quest headsets, mm-hmm. uh, especially when we first got. No, people want like three hundred and sixty degrees of view. So to by me, looking forward. So to me, that's just a flex saying like, hey, regardless of what we put out, like, don't worry, we're playing. We're in the kitchen. We're testing. I wonder how many prototype headsets they try each freaking week, because that's last week he posted one. Now this week he posted another. That too is probably endless. Yeah. Every week there's probably mm-hmm. something new to, mm-hmm. or tweaked, or, you know, I mean, that's cool- you, you know, each thing's its own individual thing. So. That, that's a cool position to be in. So and, this Then you got Orion. This is a cool one. Pretty soon you're going to be able to use your Motorola phone on the Quest headset. So not Apple users like my, I have an iPhone personally. I, as well. I would like to see it. Con- but I understand because it's, uh, it's Android to Android with this. But that's well, cool. Well, that your high-end headset is an Apple. Mm-hmm. You'll, I, my understanding is you'll get like a virtual screen of your phone on the headset. You can interact with apps and stuff like that. So, I mean... There's use cases for it. Dude, it's actually kind of cool. Mm-hmm. I've uh, you can do that on the Apple Vision Pro with an iPhone, but that's a thirty five hundred dollar investment. We're left out. Yeah, I hope this. So we feature... have an overpriced phone, but no overpriced headset. And it's not even for all Androids. It's only Amen. Motorola. I hope that this is a feature that comes with more, uh, more phones because it's cool. I agree. Like, like I can see Meta app built right in the phone. Remember what Connect when they tease that you'll be able to look at Windows eleven computers and have it pop up on your screen and headset i cannot wait for that feature to come out i'm waiting patiently for it yeah there's so many ways this is just the start of something much much bigger remember when we used to say that realistically like productivity on the headset at like the quest 2 time we were like it's not really realistic at that point Mm -hmm. which it wasn't with comfort and you know black and white pass through but we're getting closer with stuff like this and when you can have multiple screens you know, we're getting close. I wonder what effect it's going to have on Zoom. Like if you'd be able to interject your your avatar in there, just do Zoom calls for yeah, me. I, I mean, I don't see why not. That right. stuff is should should come. Changing your your mm-hmm. avatar every meeting. Yeah, dude. I mean, I'm I totally yeah. think those features should come. It's too awesome, dude. This technology is just humming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now we're talking fucking robots. Little helper robots. Mm-hmm. I saw that the Tesla robots. You know yeah. that those were controlled with yeah everybody. people remotely on VR yes. headsets. I totally get it. Doesn't don't care. It's just proof of concept. To yeah. Me yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just is... funny they were claiming it wasn't remotely controlled. That was fully, but you know, hey, I get it, dude. People using There's VR no wires, headsets. so I mean, it's cool. Well, people using well, there was wires on the in one. If um, 
if you could control a robot, let's say it couldn't do it automated, which I'm assuming it will, but, and you had to control it via headset, that's still a good trade off. Shit doing your chores for you. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole different conversation because you know for it to I'm be saying? affordable, how much do you think those people are getting paid to do that? If that was it, I, the people right now are getting paid good. Yeah, they work yeah, for the company. Yes. The fuck? But if you're selling a $20,000 yeah. remote, you can't have somebody working full time controlling it 24 7 for all of them all no. around the. No, you control. You buy one. You oh. Get, and then you, you get the control headset it? that comes with it. Okay. And it's like, hey, sit back on your couch, watch your Netflix. And, and then you're just using the robot in your tell house. Tell the robot what to do. <laughs> He'll be happy to do it. She'll I see what you're saying now. I see what yeah, you're yeah, saying yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Not, not. We'll dedicate one employee like, for every customer. I was like, dude, you already know where this is going with labor. Yeah, no. Like, this isn't going to be mm. a pretty image at all. What I want to know is, can you make them fight? Well, I also think that part can of... Can I deck my robot out with gear and you deck yours out and we can make them scrap? I think part of it right now is that, of course, they're using the VR headset, you know, person remotely in, in a headset to control the robot for demonstration purposes. But I also think that you can get really good training data out of that for the robot. Like teaching it how to do tasks. Yeah, I don't think a presentation was the time to start training it. But whatever. I'm sure I'm I think that they're probably using those headset. The same thing for training though. I like teaching at, it yeah. how to do like here's the proper as, grip amount. I look at it as more of just like this is proof of concept coming. Mm -hmm. But it's like don't anybody and I saw everybody being funny about it, but it's like you're talking about a guy that the same week caught a fucking rocket ship coming. Yeah, back that was to that Earth. was an unbelievable feat. I dude, I watched it so many times because I was like, "This has to be fake." Well, and you, you know, and then you're watching the the speeds that's traveling, mm -hmm. and it's coming down at you know like a thousand miles an hour, and I'm like, "Well, okay, well, how's it going to stop?" And then you see it slowing down, fucking eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I'm like, holy shit! Yeah, that was impressive when I when I caught dude. it, and when they're saying they're going to sell it twenty, thirty thousand dollars. I don't think anybody will be, well, obviously some people will when I say nobody will, but most people, I think it'll function like a car. Will like you have a my phone? I don't think you would pay it outright. It would probably be a monthly payment, like you do a car payment. Of course it's going to be financed. Yeah. You but can't, there's very few things mm -hmm. in life that cost 30 grand and aren't financed. Correct. So <laughs> I, th I can, I mean, how much would you pay a month? you get that through the so with that being said, that Tesla program. Okay, so we've established it would be finance. How much would you pay a month for it? And for how many, you know, like depends on what it really did. Mm -hmm. If it's basically a talking vacuum cleaner, I'm not paying twenty thousand dollars to have clean carpet. What about dishes? If it mopping? did, if it did all the chores, like hey, I do, I load the dishwasher, I unload it, I fucking can navigate stairs, so I got your laundry taken care of. I'll clean the litter box. I'll feed and water the cats every day. I'll give them their treats at this specific time. I'll get the mail. Mm -hmm. If it did um, all of that, what would you pay? Three hundred a month, two hundred a month. It, you know, it's it's that's a conversation that probably needs, like three hundred a month. Yeah, it's a yeah. that's a huge which, product, which right? Makes it in the thirty grand affordable. Mm -hmm. On like a so when I heard damn, that, these when loans I, are going to be like under ten years. When I heard that desired pricing, I was like, yeah, you know what, man, I could actually see this working, and that's crazy because yeah. it depends on on what it's going to do. And then, are you really going to? Is the best option to buy one or is the best option to actually lease one? I would think the best option is to lease it because mm -hmm. you're going to pay for it anyways. Mm -hmm. And after the, the then you two trade years, it out for the new one. Yeah. Trade I it agree. for the, new, the newest, most improved one. No, we're going to see a, a whole uh, industry of it for. And it. then do you get bundle packages if you buy like a, a Tesla car and a robot? Will <laughs> you get a cheaper deal on both? <laughs> you know it's what I'm question, saying? Yeah. yeah, dude. It's like Homeboy will drive you. In your Tesla? Our modern day version of Batman. Your robot driver. Just crushing it. Robot driver. All right. We got to keep going right. through these as well, too. But Can't funny. Help myself, no, man. funny, funny stuff. Uh, so was it, was, am I the next one? Or I think, I think I might be. I think your you're last the next one, one was, um, was the Motorola phones. Motorola phones. Yeah. So I think you're the next. Yeah. So out, out now. Yay. No, I'm just kidding. Out now is <laughs> Airspace Defender. Um, Enters early access today on Quest. Mm -hmm. And so, you were that was one that you were curious about. I'm skeptical. Mm -hmm. You haven't tried it yet, full disclosure. No. Next week we'll come back no. with some thoughts on it because you had some like, you're holding this to a bit of a standard. You're a fan of the, the one Old that school, it's... Old school, bro. 
Yeah, what was the original one called? Missile Command. Missile Command. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I used to, uh, so many quarters. I remember you saying that they've never done it as good as the original. Nope. Nobody. So I'm curious that about this. That arcade version was like the shit, dude. I really want to hear your thoughts on this. Still holds up in my opinion. I want to hear your thoughts on this one. I'm real curious. I'm excited. But they, they're not called Missile Command. So no, it's Air... What's just smart? Airspace Defender. Well, you know if they call themselves Missile Commander, your expectations would be even higher. So that's smart to do it. That's well, because, yeah, thing. now it, it better be Missile Command. So now it's its own thing, so that's smart. But I don't know, man. The initial trailers and gameplay footage of it looked good, so I'm excited for it. it has potential. So, I'm not going to... Like I said, I'm not going to crap on it. I just want to play it so I can know for sure, like, wow... They, they crushed it, or, eh, it was all right. Mm -hmm. So this was one that didn't really capture you too much. I just got to bring it up, though. It's called I mean, Blood, B-L-U-D in all caps. Blood. It's a unicorn Blood. killing simulator for the MetaQuest. You and ever it, just want to beat the shit out of it? It's gory. It is gory. They definitely gory in, like, a My Little Pony way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, a, a, remember Paint It Red? Yeah. That game, it's like that type of... Pick up uh, a baseball bat and the blood. shit out of a bunch of mm -hmm. different little... And it, there's going to be a sandbox mode, but it sounds like there's going to be like actual other game modes. In it, and it's mixed reality, so it's going to be $5. Interesting concept. I agree with you. It didn't really capture me, but at least they have a reasonable price point for it. I mean, I, I like the idea. To me, it's more just a tech flex, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm worried the novelty of... Like, it looks like you can shoot them, you can beat them with bats. It's can, out now, too. It's got a 4.9, right? And you're, cr you're creating, like, a full serial killer scene with Carnage here. Yeah, it's got a 4.9. With 11, only 11 ratings, though. All right, all right. That Just came out three, a couple days ago. I'm I'm curious. The I, price is, is not bad, so even if it was crap, you wouldn't be like, ah, oh, man, I paid $20. I like that the... MetaQuest store page now says if internet connection is required to play a game. Their website is their game studio, no regrets. <laughs> Obviously. Dot Wixsite dot com. They didn't get the full domain. I bet you that domain costs twelve bucks a year. Killing the shit out of unicorns. Yeah, it's a little intense. I'll check it out. Five bucks. Their you know. their DLC is going to be kick a leprechaun <laughs> and then knock over a wheelchair. I I'll, I mean I won't lie to you. I was not expecting to see that come out like that. Like in my like idea of what games might be in development coming yeah, out. Like, I was like I was not thinking a unicorn killing simulator was going to be one of them. Well, but here a, we are. A whoever pitched it has my respect because <laughs> for the humor value. I think it's spot on. I get, I get why they did that. I mean, it's and so I'm thinking out there. even at the price, they like they don't expect you to play it every day, you mm -hmm. know. But I, I said originally, I'm like, oh, I know, I go in there and I fucking die laughing for probably a couple hours, but after that, I don't know if it would have my attention. You'll be dealing with an annoying unicorn, Larry, throughout the game, <laughs> so it's clearly silly. No way. Unicorns. Killing simulator Never with seen pixelated blood and everything. That's I not bet silly. you would offend someone. Oh, no doubt. But that, they, that it's a fucking double unicorn. Down. Mm -hmm. Nobody's ever seen a unicorn. <laughs> well, isn't there only supposed to be like one unicorn or something? You're killing a whole shit ton of them, I'm just saying. Wasn't Pegasus unicorn? Oh my god, dude. There's like a little kid in your neighbor's backyard with like a motorcycle. He's like three years old, and he's got a motorcycle helmet on, like an adult helmet. <laughs> I can't help but bring it up. Look at him, dude. He looks hysterical. I wish we could. Oh, yeah. Definitely wouldn't show it, but come on, dude. <laughs> that's freaking hysterical. All right. So, I mean, that's cool, right? Mm -hmm. All right. We're going deep, deep, deep on this one. <laughs> the Oculus Go narrative strategy game, Augmented Empire, will be coming to Quest. It's going to be coming out as well on November 21st as well, too. I don't see a price on it yet. I'll try to see if I can see that, but it looks cool. It's like everybody kind of a, already owned it. Well, <laughs> it's it's a top-down game. Look at that. You kind of like control them. I chuckled navigate. when I was like, Oculus Go game, really? Mm -hmm. But, I mean, if people loved it that much and they can do it justice on, a, on the current breed of headsets, then why the hell not? I mean, it came out in 2017 originally. So coming out again now. And it was also out on Gear VR. Seven but. seven years later, dude. Mm -hmm. The game is still relevant. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Has mixed reality mode. 
I bet you has hand tracking. Yep, has hand tracking as well, I see. Yeah. so The mixed reality mode looks really cool, though. Yeah, and like I love this style of top-down isometric games. The graphics look tight on the, the preview shown on Upload VR, so I'm excited. Mm-hmm. It's smart to re-release these old games that haven't yet come Spend to the newer platforms. I mean, even us, we've been revisiting older games primarily. Well, it's funny because sometimes you just want a couple of minutes to just play something. You don't even know what the hell, so you just grab one of the ones that you know. Yeah, Mm -hmm. and then you go, oh, my God, I forgot how much fun this was. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for... The amount of games that we play is sometimes abusive. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I've I've been enjoying just revisiting some of the ones that we've we've loved. And, dude, this last week had some, you know, a good amount of releases. You know, you mentioned Maestro Mm -hmm. earlier. And then yeah, this last so week good. also saw Arizona Sunshine, the remake, remake come out, which is damn good. We also saw they Claw, did real good. Yeah, we got to try that at Gamescom. We also saw Claw Ball come out. It's a a new cat soccer game. Just it leans looks funny, leans completely into the silliness. Undead Citadel, a hack and slash game, is out now as well. I haven't tried that one, but I'm excited Tough too. Genre. And then Just Dance VR is also out now. So just. Dance. October man stacked month and the, like I said before this week we have Batman that's just hold your breath around yep. that one stay a month away mm-hmm. like if you at least, you know hey I mean to be fair Dig VR didn't go a full month into the future November 14th but I think that's that's good enough yeah because the sugar buzz from after Halloween mm-hmm. will be gone too so let's see exciting stuff mm-hmm. I think that was your your last one your last one before, that was right? it for me sir well look at that I think you did mention that you want to talk a little grimy grim. Well, yeah, because we've been on a little forced grammatical, mm-hmm. I'll call it. Instead of a sabbatical, it's a grammatical. Well, we we went MetaConnect, then I started a new job, which, you know, took a couple weeks of adjusting. And then you had the, the biggie also at mm-hmm. that time, then right after the garlic festival as well, too. So it was like the perfect time to be like, because I didn't want to half-ass it. So I'm like, let's just take advantage of the time and like not sneak in there. So now we're we're over the grammatical mm-hmm. and dude the amount of changes that happened <laughs> in in what 3 weeks mm-hmm. spoons and nut I don't even know what to say like technically if he never released the game and just kept doing what he's doing I yeah it's not even funny so in a way even though it was kind of a forced time out from it um it's it's kind of worth every penny. It's crazy because when we first got standalone access on the Quest 3, geez, what, months ago now? Mm-hmm. We were like, this is ready for release today. That's what I felt like, but then... It just keeps getting better. It's like uh, significantly better, too. There were some changes that he made once, and um, I was like, that's when I really knew, like, sometimes I should just keep my mouth shut because I don't, I don't know the big picture. You don't know what finished is to them. Yeah, 100% do it. Mm-hmm. And there were things that were, were being added that I like never even like, wasn't even thinking like that. There's even some another game that we've played kind of a little bit through development as well, too, that felt ready the first time we played it and has only gotten better as well, too. There's a couple games, like when we try them months before, it's like, this feels good, you know, like this could come out now. And then when they finally do come out, it's like, yep. I understand. Yeah, well, yeah. No, you you realize I the, understand. the levels to things. Mm-hmm. You only can speak on what you know, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like... If you don't know the full vision of the game. I don't think anybody truly knows. Like, nobody's in Spoon's head, mm-hmm. right? Except for him. And I can't guess what he's going to do. But holy shit, dude, the mm-hmm. updates. Even the minor stuff, like, Vicious. you know, the, the graphical improvements on the rocks and such. I say it all the time, too, man. Their visual, their art team it's on Grim. Sick. It's sick, dude. I mean, dude. Things have really ramped up, though. Their like, art team. The, the fact that those are some of the best visuals in any of the Combat Waffle studio games is on Grim, and it's of that scale, says says a lot. Mm-hmm. Ghost of Tavor's visuals have gotten so much better as well, too. When you think of how, you know, from first launching and playing on Quest 2, like way back app lab early. I remember access. when the water changed and how excited yeah. I was. I was like, oh man, this water just looks mm-hmm. character models, looking around guns like, have Dude, gotten good. Does the world look different to you for some reason? Mm-hmm. Like it just looks a little better, a little better. But I, they don't quit, man. They just keep 
pumping out updates. As always, too, new episode of Tabor Radio coming out next week, or not next week, November 1st as well, too, a little over a week. Oh, my God. Well, we almost forgot this. Huge shout out to Oktoberfest, who we had an interview with Jan from the team. We did. Like, what, a month ago? Mm -hmm. Now, free-to-play VR game. They sent a nice little... Nice little swag pack. I like that it came in like a reusable bag, like a reusable grocery bag. Not saying I'll take this and throw grocery meat in there or anything like that, but <laughs> you know, throw a, some raw chicken. It's a nice, that. it's a nice little touch. Then they gave, they gave this nice little, nice little shirt. I like the shirt a lot. Yeah, I like the shirt a lot too. Boom! I'm a sucker for a good shirt. Look at that thing. Then they also gave some another one to sucker for. Stickers, you'll Stickers. see it. You'll see it cut in one taken because uh, one's on your scooter. We split it. One's on your scooter, <laughs> yeah. and then yeah, we 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 split the scooters. You know, we split split the stickers. It's not split the scooters. Split the stickers. No, and you then, ride it a mile. I ride it a mile. <laughs> and we also got nice socks. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Who doesn't love some good socks? And they also sent. This was one of the the coolest novelties. I remember it was funny. I I showed it to you, and I was like, yeah, it's a camera. It's just a a prop though and you're like oh it's like it does it does it shift images and i was like i don't know put it right up you're like yep it does yep so that's cool pictures of oktoberfest in-game the, pictures it says the studio name and stuff like that too <laughs> it's pretty cool though yeah no that's that's a, that's one you don't see often in like the camera the boxes and stuff yeah those those type of no cameras and then they gave some nice pins as well too I, dude, I'm, I said it a week ago. I'm like, I'm loving the pins more than anything lately. Pins are getting more and more popular. So huge thank you to the, the developers of Oktoberfest yeah. for that, that nice little one. I like the shirt a lot, too. Danke. Man, feeling it again, the shirt is a nice material. Mm-hmm. I know that that's a big deal for you. It is. So if your shirt's like cardboard, I won't wear it. It's just the way I am. So we're getting back to Grim. <laughs> huge thank you to Oktoberfest developers for that. Dude, that's stay, gotta be getting close too, huh? Stay tuned for another uh another Tabor Radio episode on the first. Coming soon. An interview that we teased last week mm-hmm. had to be delayed to unforeseen reasons for a week. So that'll be coming out this week as well, too. Even so. even the shit we do sometimes has to be delayed. So Yeah, what can you do? Comes with the deal. We do the best we can. Mm-hmm. So stay tuned for all that. Like we said earlier, subscribe, rate us five stars. If you're so inclined, join the Discord, join the Patreon, all that fun stuff, and we will check you out later this week.